Hey everybody, this is Kyle back uh, with Meister Vision, this time with a tutorial on the Raspberry Pi. And I wanted to show you real quickly how to use a, um, how to use a web browser um, from the command line. Um, first we're going to need to get the, uh, the program, and it's called uh, Lynx, L-Y-N-X. Um, so to, to do that, we're going to use the Advanced package, Packaging Tool. Um, or APT to get it. So all we do is we, we have to have root access, root privileges. We do su do app dash get install and then links l y n x. And you'll see it'll just um, it'll pull down the packet and install it. All right, it did it. So um, now, in order to use it, all we do is we type lynx for links, and we give it a URL after it. Space, and we give it the URL. So let's just try um, Google.com, and it goes into full screen mode, and it's asking at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. The first thing it'll ask you is. Um, about cookies, whether we want to allow the cookies or not. You give yes, never, always, or never. So I'm just going to say right now A for always. And I just hit enter. Alright, cool. So yeah, um, if you can see, it basically just gives us a text version. Um, the links are green of Google's homepage. And so you can just use. Um, the arrows, so up and down arrows, to move to different areas on the page. So if we want to type in something to search for, we can just go here to Google search, the yellow line, and let's say we want to search for the Raspberry Pi. We just type it in. So in order, so we have to hit enter again to submit it, and now you can see it returned a search results page for. Um, for ras the Raspberry Pi. And um, let's just go the second result. I don't know why the first one. Oh, this is an ad, I think. Uh, ketone, Raspberry Ketone. But the second one is our Raspberry Pi.org um, link. And let's just go ahead and just so go down to that, hit enter, and then you hit enter again. Waits for response. Then it brings us to the page. And it's actually real easy and quick. And um, this, uh, links pro this links browser uses very little. Um, CPU because you're not pulling down all these images and all sorts of JavaScript and that sort of thing. And it's just really useful if you want to just um, get to a page with some information on it and read it. And it's kind of cool too. Um, so that's that. That's links and it's way easy to use and um, and it, it's, it's, it's a blast. So try it out. Um, it's pretty cool. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it.